Welcome, Empire fans, to tonight's podcast uh, show of the Coach Rob Wood Retro. Coach, congratulations so far on your 9 0 season. One more to go, and you guys will be uh, having an undefeated season there. But uh, I thought this would be a great week to talk about your 12 seniors and, and what they mean to you, what they've meant to you this uh, these uh, three years that you've spent with them. Well, uh, we take each game one week at a time, but uh, you're right. This, this is a great time to talk about those seniors. Um, you know, we just had senior night <clears throat> last regular season home game, and, and we got 12 seniors that uh, have really come up through our program and have, have contributed, uh, some of them since they were freshmen, some since they were sophomores, and some not, you know, juniors. But all of them is what one thing that I love. This is one of the, the most contr- of, uh, you know, impactful senior players that we have um, this year. And, and, and running through them, you know, I start with number three, Trey Canary. Uh, Canary has always been uh, somebody that has outstanding hands. I mean, the ball is thrown in his in his area. He's catching it. He had a great catch the other night that was called not a catch, but I really felt that he, he did a great job. And he's always has the ability, this kind of this uncanny ability to just go and grab the ball and keep it off the turf if it's a low ball or um, down on the goal line if he's fighting for, for different things. But but the thing that Trey also does is blocks very well. He's always been a good blocker for us. Uh, going back to week one when we had uh, our first outstanding performance against uh, Ironton, I remember complimenting him in a number of situations where we were able to pick up extra yardage as he blocked downfield. And next is Bivens. Uh, Tanner Bivens has been... Uh, uh, impactful player the last two years on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Uh, this year he's playing a free safety force as well as a slot receiver. Sometimes jump back there at tailback and uh, really is a hard vertical runner that uh, really plants his foot in the ground and, and gets up. He's fast, uh, very extremely aggressive. He's played a little D line for us uh, last year and uh, as well as some receivers and and uh, there's a number of times where you think, wow, what, a, what an outstanding catch he's made uh, you know, last year and this year at the receiver position. Uh, next is uh, Taylor Doerr. Taylor Doerr, uh, as a sophomore, was a uh, kind of a Johnny football force uh, uh, quarterback, played in our JV uh, team. And was just kind of thrown in there because we didn't really have a JV quarterback at that time. And uh, he did he did an outstanding job. Um, showed that he could not only throw the ball but run the ball and uh, orchestrate our offense very well. Uh, he's also a defensive player for us. Plays a kind of a lockdown corner and uh, does a great job at the corner position. He made outstanding plays, uh, creating turnovers on defense. Go back to the Waverly game. He, he has a big uh, fumble, um, punched punch the ball out over on the sidelines, kind of got the momentum shifted back our way. And, and then, of course, the end of the game ends the game with a, with a, uh, a pick in the uh, end zone for a touchback. So he's, and you know, it was a big game for us, and he's been in, in a number of games, uh, been, a, been a big player for us. Um, next is uh, Keaton Newsom. Keaton Newsom is. Has always been uh, our long snapper the last three to four, three years. Uh, he's been a great long snapper for us, um, but he's also been a, a running back that kind of just was waiting his time, waiting his turn because he had so many outstanding players in front of him. But um, he has just taken over that position and runs the ball. He's deceptively fast. Uh, doesn't look like he, he's running all that fast, but boy, he really covers a lot of ground with his strides. Runs the ball very hard, uh, and has just done a. a, a also cuts catches the ball extremely well out of the backfield. We're all the time trying to find new ways to, to get him matched up with with uh, defensive guys that will will put us in, in the best situation. Uh, next, we got David Lewis. David Lewis has been around the program forever. He's he's a, uh, a kicker for us. Um, they was always we've always kind of toyed with trying to find other spots for David to contribute because he is so quick but uh his kicking ability is just so vital to, to everything that we try to do especially on the special teams he can put the ball anywhere 
on the field from the kickoff position. He's got good range in the field goals, and and it's just uh, automatic when it comes to his extra points. So really appreciate the job that he does at kicking. Clint Hatfield uh, is next. Uh, Clint stepped in as a sophomore and ended up winning the backup linebacker spot because he just had such a such an ability to find the football and always always was around the ball. And Clint's continued to try to build himself and strengthen himself. He increased his blocking capabilities this year uh, and a uh, tight end for us. He's got great hands. We don't always showcase those hands as much and, and get the ball to him too often. But boy, when he does, he can go get the, get the football. But he he's also uh, became just an outstanding blocker on the edge at the tight end position. Uh, next is Brandon Williams. Brandon's the right guard for us this year. Brandon's just been waiting his time. He's been a strong uh, athlete for us in the weight room all the way up through, but never the never real uh, big size presence. He's never been the, one of the biggest guys out there, but, boy, he can really uh, lock onto you and, and, and run your feet. He's probably had more uh, uh, pancake blocks altogether this year than, than any of our other guys just because of his ability to once he gets a hold of you and, and, and gets you moving and gets you running, he can he can really uh, uh, work guys up the field. Uh, next is Lydon Collins, center position. Lydon started two years for us at the center position. Uh, our tempo offense is all controlled by our center's ability to get up on the football and get our get our offensive line uh, where they need to be. And, and Lydon has done a great job of that. Um, he's been consistent at that spot for us. Um, just just in, in helping to keep us in that tempo and and uh, he, he's all the time uh, uh, working and uh, Leiden also has some good good pancake pucks but he he's always working on his footwork and trying to get better on, on uh, uh, getting where he needs to be and, and the quickness with that but uh, Leiden has done a great job at the center next we got uh, Grant Clifford uh, Grant Clifford uh, started out at linebacker last year, and then and then we've moved him to the defensive line this year at the defensive end, and tried to work him a little bit at some uh, offensive guard as well. But Grant's just always kind of been uh, a guy that uh, is ready to do anything that you could ask of him. You know, we we were having a conversation today about him going into the military, and and I told him that's a, a kind of a regret I've always had that I never served any time in, a, in the military, but uh, always pushing our guys to, if that's something that they want to follow and pursue, uh, I express how proud I am of them to devote their time to serving our country, and I know Grant will do an outstanding job of that if he's looking to go on into the Marines. Uh, next, we have Cole Darnell. Cole Darnell uh, was a quarterback coming up through our program and, and uh, stepped away for a year, and as he came back, he was Willing, willing to be coachable and just, just wherever he could contribute. And he happened to show the most aggressiveness out of any of our players going into the season. And he found a spot on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Um, offensive guard at the start of the season and defensive end. Uh, he since moved to more of just that defensive end position as we began to work some other guys around. And uh, that way we could kind of free him up a little more and, and have him more fresh for that defensive end. But Cole's been extremely aggressive this year and done an outstanding job. Another former quarterback that came into our system as a freshman, uh, as he moved back here, his family moved back here, was Bailey Morris. And Bailey's a 6'5 guy that uh, stepped away from the program for a year but came back and played uh, tight end for us last year. And uh, it went to him this off season and talked to him about where we thought we could find a spot for him and how he could contribute to our team. And he was willing to do whatever it took, and, and we moved him down at the left tackle. And Bailey has, has really done a great job of learning what to do and, uh, again, being coachable on how he can protect himself. And uh, our final senior is uh, Josh Brabson. And, and uh, Josh Brabson, while, while his contributions haven't been uh, real extensive on the – Friday game nights, he, he's all the time repping in there on scout team uh, throughout the week and uh, contributing to, to working our guys and trying to make them better, um, whether it be a, a defensive line or offensive line, uh, running against our, our groups and, 
and uh, Josh and all the guys have great camaraderie and get great uh, great uh, respect for one another, and it's really great to see how they interact with one another. I uh, had them all up to my, to, uh, my parents' farm this this summer, and, and we all camped out there and uh, fished at some ponds and things, and and uh, had a great time with one another, and, and it, that that camaraderie, that brotherhood that they have. Uh, really rubs off on all the rest of the kids. So they've been a great senior class this year, and uh, you know I'm proud to proud to be their coach. Well, coach, um, they've been fun to watch. They they didn't. It's one of those things where you look at them as a group at seventh and eighth grade, and they don't really win many junior high games, but all they work hard and and just talk about their overall uh, leadership as they've they've come up through the program. Well, as I mentioned there, you know all of those guys. Played, a lot of them played different positions when they were in those younger levels. And, and, you know, each one grows and develops in their own unique way. And as you start to mix, as you get into high school, that's what's amazing about the game of football is, you know, you never want to really pigeonhole yourself into a certain position because you really don't know how you're going to grow and develop and how you're going to mesh with the other guys that's there. And our coaches do a great job of trying to find where each one can contribute and we want to try to put them in situations so they can be successful. And, you know, hats off to them for saying, for recognizing that, hey, yeah, you know, I'm willing to move a position or I'm willing to, to, to work to whether it be gain weight or lose some weight or gain some speed or, you know, work on my hands or work on my footwork. And, and uh, I can definitely say that this, this senior group has always done that and has always been willing to, to just fit whatever role it is that uh, that we we find for them that we feel is the best best spot for them to be successful and and they've contributed in uh, countless number of wins here as we uh, go through these these senior year these excuse me these high school years you know they 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 put together a lot of a lot of wins in our programs and they've all contributed uh, throughout that so really proud of the job that they've done. Any final thoughts before we uh, we head out to West? Well, uh, you know, it's uh, week 10 here, and, and we talked about going into West. And, uh, our record's 0-0 right now. It's, a, it's the only game that matters, and, and uh, we really want to uh, focus on that uh, that game. And, and I'm proud to, proud of the group of guys that we're going to be taking out there, the 82 uh, members of our of our team that will be going out to, to Portsmouth West. It's the first time I'll be taking the freshman with us on an away game. Um, we've got enough jerseys to outfit them now, and and uh, I'm uh, I'm excited to to take this whole group out because uh, you know I feel that we've worked to kind of get our numbers up and, and to be there. And as our freshmen have finished their season, they they actually scrimmaged our JVs throughout this week, and they had an outstanding uh, little uh, half hour scrimmage between one another. It was extremely competitive, and uh, the player development has been outstanding I feel over the last uh, four to five years and, and how each of our guys as I mentioned this senior class you know here we have freshmen and sophomores that'll grow and develop in their years coming up through and and I'm going to be proud to see them all stand there on the sidelines and and uh, working to, to win an SOC championship. Well coach good luck and we will holler back out to you next Monday after uh, the Friday night game. Sounds great Gene thanks.